Hi, I'm Banana J, and this is episode 1.5 of the Bowers and Wilkins C5 in-ear headphone tutorial. Let's try saying that three times fast. Yeah, we're going to be looking at um, the modification I'm doing to the C5 in-ear phones, and uh, I call it 1.5 because we've got a better quality camera this time, so you're going to have a high definition look at some of the parts we've got. And we've got a few more parts turn up as well, but I don't feel like we've made enough progress to uh, call it any more than what it is. So let's have a look at the uh, hand braided cable because I don't think the camera did it justice last time. Now this is the uh, hand braided cable and here you can see there's some lovely, lovely braiding action going on there, if I dare say so myself. And this is beryllium copper, which has been cryogenically treated and since we're entering the dark and scary realms of audiophilia I was pedantic enough to have this cryogenically treated after the uh, woven fact took place and um, that basically weaving the copper um, disrupts the uh, sort of rigidity of the uh, crystalline copper structure that was um, achieved um, by cryogenically treating it. Um, you, you treat it cryogenically to really sort of tighten up that uh, crystalline structure and um, yeah basically you fatigue it by weaving it so we've eliminated that and uh, now it's ready to receive a connector on one end and on this end we're going to be making the uh, custom pins and uh, connectors for uh, hooking up the monitors so let's look at this end what's going on this end well what we've got is a 3.5 mil 24 karat gold jack from Oyed. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. And if not, who cares? So it comes in a fancy space age packet like that. And it really is quite a beautiful connector. Um, everything's been machine turned. Um, some really positive knurling um, on the uh, sleeve of the jack and it's got some uh, nicely defined pins in there which we'll be using some uh, you know, high quality silver solder to hook up to our uh, beryllium copper cable so that's that, it's a nice shape as well just a lovely piece of equipment um, on the other end of these the uh, custom connectors that I'll be making for them I've purchased some, this is where we go cross-eyed, um, I've purchased some 24 karat gold turned pins. Now these have absolutely nothing to do with the audio world, but I think these are going to make some really nice connectors once I've finished with them for uh, hooking up my array of in-ear phones. Because like I was saying before, you know, I want this um, to be able to be used um, with a selection of in ear phones because not one set of in ear phones is suitable for every kind of music. So I want to have these in like a little pouch, and you know, that's also the reason this cable is so long. I mean, it might be a bit longer than most people's taste, but I want this to be able to be used in the real world. So the last time, the uh, C5 in earphones were actually on the uh, headset. Now, as you can see here, I've literally just gone ahead and, oh my god, cut them off. So you can see the exposed cables there. And I didn't want to take too much cable off of these because I wanted to sort of maintain the kind of, um, you know, s styling that uh, Bowers and Wilkins has achieved with this um, headset. You know, I didn't want to detract too much from the product itself. Um, so I think we've uh, managed to maintain that um, whilst managing to replace quite a bit of the uh, original cable because I mean they've they've made these you know fairly high quality in the first place so you know allowing this little bit of cable to stay there isn't going to ruin our day. Now the problem I thought with these was that. Um, the sound stage was very much complementary to the sort of higher range and I found it a little bit too uh, sort of trebly, a little bit too 
not necessarily harsh, but just too too up there. Um, so we, we want to just bring up some of those lower tones. And to do that, what I'm going to be doing is I've got some material which I'm going to be baffling a hole that's in here with. I don't know whether you can see that, but just in here, let's get a better angle. Ah, there we go. Now you see that hole in there, that black hole. Woo! Yep, that there. That travels all the way through the aluminium casing of this in ear foam and comes to this um, bead mesh array that's here. This is like a porous material made up of lots of little metal balls. And the idea behind that, Bowers and Wilkins thinking behind this, is you've got a tunnel going through the device, like a um, an audio port, if you like, that you get on speakers, except this isn't a bass reflex tube, this is just a port to the outer world. And by putting on this um, bead array that's on here, this sort of baffling material, it kind of blocks the harshness of the sort of outside world, but also allows a sufficient amount of um, surrounding noise to get into the um, earphones, as well as allowing a sufficient amount of sound to escape from the earphones to give the sort of spatial, um, you know, that, that feeling of space that you get with a larger set of cans, uh, like a full-size headphone set. Um, and although it does achieve this to a certain extent, uh, the type of music I'm going to be listening to is just going to need a little bit more bass. So I've got this uh, very clever material that I'll be filling part of that hole with, and that will actually absorb some of the uh, some of the cross through from both sides, and should yeah, just ra raise up those those lower lower tones, give the bass a little bit more rigidity. So that, that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, I'm going to be going ahead and fitting that material to the uh, to the cans. I'll be using the uh, high quality silver solder to connect on the audio jack. And I'll be making my own custom connectors to hook these up. I might even go ahead and make some uh, custom in-ear molds. So instead of using the uh, standard sort of rubber tip things that you get for uh, in earphones. I think um, I might go ahead and cast some of my own custom in-ear uh, rubbers, you know, so um, we've got a really snug fit. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, you know, keep following and that. Um, as you'll notice, um, if you've looked at our blog, uh, there is absolutely no advertising going to be on any of our uh, videos for the rest of this year. Hopefully you guys want to support us by following us and liking us and I'll catch you guys later.